So first of all, I want to say that the, the Bay, Jamaica Bay, is a bay, which presents a unique issue in that it's not the ocean where things get taken out into infinity and beyond, but everything gets washed up on the shore. So what we've been finding over the many years that we've been doing these cleanups is lots of murtis, which are Hindu statues, for lack of a better word, that wash up the shore and are often offered. And back in the day that the scriptures were written, the materials that were being used to make murtis, as an example, were not the materials that are now available today. So they were made of things like clay, and clay biodegrades. Today we find plastics, we find metals, we find plaster parts, we find all of these materials, and, and the paints by which they are painted with mm -hmm. are all also toxic to the environment. So I one of the things that I'll say is that our script one of our scriptures, the Gita, mentions that God will accept whether it's a drop of water, a leaf, a fruit, a flower doesn't necessarily need to be a murti or the most expensive thing that you can offer. It can literally be just that. So we've been, the, the Park Service champions this, this notion of leave no trace behind, which means literally leave nothing. From my perspective, I don't know how realistic that can be because the reality is many devotees want to leave something. And so what I, and the, the organization have been really trying to pitch is leave a drop of water, leave a fresh flower, leave a prayer. Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't need to be that you're leaving an offering there. The thing is, after puja is done, when uh, Pandit finishes up the puja, and I have witnessed this in, in, for many years that I've been either attending puja or my family is hosting pujas, but Pandit will tell you, these are the items you can't throw out in the garbage. These are the items you can't throw out in the garbage. The items that you can't throw out in the garbage, you have to take them to your nearest body of water and dispose of them there. So what ends up happening is, it's not just the grains of rice and the fresh flowers and the, um, the, the things that are in the hot and cream. It's, it's a plastic bag that contains those items that is being disposed. It's the aluminum pan that's containing these items. It's all of that. And that's not okay because I think, you know, when, when we go to the bodies of water and worship, we do it with the best of intentions, with a pure heart. And these are traditions that, as a Indo-Caribbean, we, we've had to struggle over decades to maintain, right? Because, first of all, coming from India to the Caribbean and, and now to New York City and, and still maintaining these traditions, and some of my, uh, some of my Indian friends will have to say that Indo-Caribbeans are way more religious than, than they can even imagine to, to be. And I think part of that is because of that, that struggle to retain our identity over, over these many years, and amidst colonialism, and this, this need to assimilate and get the better job, or whatever the case may be. And so we're really close to our traditions, and we really want to make sure we never lose them. And I hear that, right? I think, it's, I think that's really important. And so through this work, through this cleanup work, we're not saying, to anybody, because we're Hindus too. We're not saying, don't worship. We're saying worship, but be mindful of, of what you're leaving. So people often will find bamboo flags that people leave there. The bamboo flags can be left in your garden. If you don't have a garden, they can be left in a pot of soil. There are alternatives, right? I remember when my parents were living in the Bronx and I was a kid, we didn't have a garden. We barely had a bedroom and they put the flag in a, in a pot of soil in our altar room. And that was the solution there, right? So how do we think about how we're worshiping and making sure we're doing that in an eco-friendly way? What it could look like someday to have an eco-friendly murti that biodegrades in a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a business idea. <laughs> thinking about thinking about things like that and, and, and thinking out of the box. Because like I said, it's not it's, for us it's not about getting rid of the tradition. It's about you know making sure that people are doing doing what they're doing in an eco-friendly way. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, again, evolving our practices that make sense for the context of the world that we live in today.